Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jaden and I hope you enjoy the video. Today I'm going to be doing a, not a haul, a video about all the books that I've read in 2022 so far. I'm sitting on my floor right now. This is a very like different location for me, but even though usually I just film right there, I decided to sit on my floor because I thought it would be more like comfy and casual I guess since I'm doing a book video so I'm gonna go through all the books that I've read this year so far and talk about my rating a little synopsis of them and all of that good stuff so if you like book videos give this video a thumbs up and yeah I'm gonna be hopefully doing more book videos this summer because I'll actually have time to read but yeah so I'm gonna go in order of when I read these books starting off with People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. This author also wrote Beach Read, which I do own. Um, I just haven't read it yet because the time I started it, I just could not get into it because it was winter and gross outside, but I'm definitely gonna read it this summer. But most people either love that book or love this book. And I think I'm going to like Beach Read a lot more. I rated this book three out of five stars. And basically it's about two characters, Alex and Poppy. They've been, I think like, really close like best friends since college and they had a falling out and so the whole book you're trying to figure out what happened to them and why they're not friends anymore and they used to go on a vacation together every single summer and obviously when they had their falling out they didn't do that anymore but poppy took it upon herself to reconnect with alex and have like one last fun summer vacation i guess and she wants to just like reconnect with him and try and work things out from like when they had a falling out. I think the reason I gave this book kind of a low rating was because I thought that the reason they stopped talking was kind of underwhelming. I also, sometimes the characters kind of aggravated me because I just think that sometimes they were super blind and just like oblivious to what was literally right in front of them and they could not take a hint. Um, yeah, but it wasn't, I didn't hate it. There were just a few things in this book that were kind of big for me that I didn't love, but I definitely didn't hate it. The next book that I read is The Infamous Verity by Colleen Hoover. I loved this book. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. It was so good and just so like intriguing. One of the very few books that I own and that I've read that I was not able to put down. So basically the main character in this book, her name is Lowen and she's a struggling author and she gets picked to finish writing this other author's like famous series and the author couldn't finish the series because she was in a really bad accident so that's why Lowen had to be hired to finish it. So Lowen moves into this family's house or like the author's house and her husband and her son also live there. She has to go through all of her stuff to try and like get a better insight on how to finish the series. So she kind of starts digging around and she finds the author's manuscript which is supposed to be like a non-fiction thing about her own life and she reads it and she finds some some very interesting things. Um, I don't even know what trigger for this, but trigger warning for this book. You can look it up, but trigger warning because this book is insane. It was super crazy, but I remember finishing this book really fast. Again, I could not put it down and it was just very entertaining. So again, check the trigger warnings on this book because there's a lot that happens that is very crazy. But again, I really enjoyed it. The next book that I read was The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This book is very popular. I need to read the sequel because the third book is coming out in August, but this was actually a really, really good book. I got this book because I joined the book club at my school and this was the first book that they read. First of all, I love the cover of this book. It's like so pretty. And this is like one of my favorite colors, this like dark emerald green, but it's a very pretty cover. I rated this book four out of five stars as well. So this was a mystery. It's, 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 it's a mystery book. It's got a little bit of romance in it as well, but I think the main plot is kind of mystery. It's hard to explain. It's not like anything I've ever read before, but I really enjoyed it. There's a lot going on. Let me like reread my notes because this book had a lot going on. The main character in this book is Avery and I'm pretty sure she lived in New Jersey, but basically she's like really struggling. She's not very good at school. She's like living out of her car. She's financially struggling, but she randomly finds out that she has inherited like millions of dollars, like so much money 
from this random family who doesn't even live like in New Jersey. Um, she's not related to this family. She has no idea why she's inherited all this money. But basically she takes the opportunity to get moved out to Texas to like inherit all the money and inherit all the property and stuff. The guy that she inherited the money from is a grandfather and he has like, I don't even, I think four grandsons. So she meets all of them and she lives with them in that, like in their huge mansion. The grandfather, he's like very tricky and like sneaky. And basically her and the four grandsons are all trying to figure out what does this girl have to do with our family? Why did she inherit all this money? They go on this like, not treasure hunt, but just like mystery adventure and find a bunch of clues as to why she has this money, how he even knows her, all that kind of stuff. It's very good. The tension between kind of like the love interest in this book is very good as well. So I really recommend this book. It was very intriguing, hard to put down as well. Yeah, just a lot going on, which keeps you on your toes. Sorry, that book was like kind of hard to explain because I read it a while ago and so much happened. I was trying not to spoil it. The next book I read was The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. I also read this book for book club and I did not really enjoy this book. I don't know what it was. Like maybe I just wasn't, I don't even know. It took me so long to read this book, like so long. And it's not, look, it's not even that long. It took me so long to read it though. And I guess it's just because, I don't know, some people love it and some people hate it. There's not like a lot of in between that I've seen. So yeah, I rated this book three out of five stars. There's a wife and a husband and the husband's daughter. Well, basically she's a stepmom. The husband goes missing kind of ironically right after like a bunch of like drama and like a scandal happens with the company that he works for his wife and the daughter the daughter like hates the mom they don't have a very good relationship and so the wife and the daughter are left with each other and they're trying to figure out why did he go missing where is he at and after a few things happen they end up going somewhere because they feel like it I won't say where, hopefully that doesn't spoil it, but they go somewhere that they think is related to why he left and they're trying to figure out if that's where he's at or like what happened in his past, where he could be at, all that kind of stuff. So basically it's a mystery and they're trying to find him and find out what happened within the company and what he has to do with it. There's some character development between the daughter and the mom, so, or the stepmom I guess, but this book, I don't even know why, I just did not love it and it took me forever to read. I finished it, I almost DNF'd it, but I finished it and it just wasn't that great. The next book that I read was The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. This book is talked about a lot. I'm pretty sure it came out this year in January, but I really like this book as well. It was four out of five stars for me. Um, the main character, this girl, the main character in this book, her name is Olive and she is very awkward. She has not had a lot of relationships, but she has had one past relationship. So she does have an ex and her best friend likes her ex. And I think the ex likes her. So she wants to date him, but she's also like, I can't do that to you. Like, what if you're not over him yet? And so Olive is really trying to convince her friend that she's over him and that she can go ahead and date him. She has to prove to her friend that she has a boyfriend and that she's completely over her ex. Um, so one day she randomly sees her friend in like the lab or like wherever her school building is at and she sees her and so she's like, I gotta do something so she thinks I'm dating someone. So she kisses the first guy that she sees which happens to be a professor named Adam. So that turns into a fake dating trope. I think there might also be forked Force proximity, I'm not completely sure, I don't really remember. This book was really, really good. And there was a plot twist in this book that I did not expect at all. And the ending was really good. The character development was also good. I like the tension in the relationship between the two characters. So I really recommend this book. It was very good. The next book that I read was the also infamous Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. This book, I don't even know what to say. I I did really like this book. This is a very beautifully written 
book i feel like i didn't enjoy it as much as other people do because a lot of people like rave about this book it's their absolute favorite favorite book five stars um and i did really enjoy it but i didn't rate it five stars i only rate it four out of five i couldn't even tell you why but sometimes when i read books i feel like i just for some reason can't read in the moment and it ruins the experience for me so I kind of want to reread this book, but I'm going to talk about what this book is actually about. There's these two, the two main characters are Macy and Elliot and the love interest. That's not a spoiler, but this book is told in past and present timelines, alternating timelines. And I really like when books do that because I feel like it keeps every single chapter interesting. It has the childhood friends to not speaking to lovers trope or like, what's it called? Kind of second chance romance a little bit. Basically, they meet, Macy and Elliot meet at a very young age and they grow up together and they bond over their love of books and reading, which I think was so cute. You kind of get to watch them grow up together and figure out like what love even is and like how to figure out like how relationships work and things like that. So I really like that coming of age aspect. But like I said, it is told in alternating timeline. So there's then and now chapters and the whole time you're trying to figure out why they stopped talking. I think they didn't talk for like 11 years. And the reason why they didn't talk was definitely not underwhelming. It was very good, huge plot twist, which I did not expect. And it was so sad and I really felt for the characters. I actually did not cry. I'm not an easy crier waiting to find a book that will make me cry. This was not the one, but it was very, very heart-wrenching and it was just so entertaining. But yeah, it was a very good book. I definitely recommend. Hopefully I explained that well. And also I loved Elliot, the male character. He's just so sweet and like, I love him. So I recommend this book as well. The last book that I read, this is the book that I've read most recently. I finished it, I wanna say like, I don't know, four or five days ago was Shatter Me by, I, I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce the author's name. I'm gonna try though. Tahera Mafi. I don't know if that's right. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but this book was so good. I rated it four and a half out of five stars. I actually liked it better than Love and Other Words. I think just because I really like suspenseful books, so I can enjoy like a more heart-wrenching, like sad book, I guess, or like romance book, but I also really, really like um, like more suspenseful, action-packed kind of books. I couldn't rate it five stars for some reason, but I also did not want to rate it four stars because I could not compare it to some of the other books that I've rated four stars. And I'm gonna try and explain this the best that I can without spoiling it. It was my first fantasy book that I've ever read and I really liked it. I'm definitely excited to read the rest of this series. The main character, Juliet, has this special power that really makes her an outcast and so she ends up getting put in like an insane asylum or like a prison of some sort for her power. I'm gonna cut this out if it's a spoiler, but basically her power is that when she touches people, they die essentially. So in the prison or like in the insane asylum, she meets somebody and this is like the first time she's met anybody for like a year, she hasn't talked to anybody. So she meets this person, they develop a relationship, they go on sort of an adventure and that's all I can really say without spoiling it. It's just, it's very good. And the character development in this book is really good. And I love the way this book is written. It has like crossed out lines. Um, I think I can show you without like, it kind of has like crossed out lines, um, which kind of represents how she doesn't want to use her voice or speak up for herself. Um, and that was really, really good. And honestly, just like the overall writing of this book, not just that was really good. So I definitely enjoyed this book. And again, I can't wait to read the rest of the series. They're already in my Barnes and Noble cart. Yeah, it was just very entertaining. I could not put this book down. So please read this book if you have not already. Those are all the books that I read in 2022. I'm definitely gonna be making some more summer reading videos, so stay tuned for those. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video.